Well, now it's time for Wackademia, the wacky world of academia. And although it's very funny, it is also very serious. And uh, we have been warning on this show for several years that thanks to critical race theory, which is this idea that uh, whites are inherently racist and that nobody else is racist because they're the victims of racism or something like that, uh, we warned, and it is now coming to pass, that whites are being victimised left, right and centre. We're seeing uh, whites kicked out of being guests at a university. We're seeing whites being kicked out uh, of the RAF or certainly not being um, uh, employed. And we're seeing mm. whites... Uh, more, more, more and more plans to discriminate against whites. James? Well, you know, I just think it's... You know, this is one of these incredible stories where the left becomes so absorbed with its own insane woke goals that it doesn't understand that it's part of a bigger picture here of trying to, you know, help people and do its job. You know, I'm thinking about how in Western Australia they are going to knock back a fertilizer uh, plant because of uh, some indigenous rights issue. And now in the UK, where the US is sending nuclear capable bombers because Russia is, you know, ramping up the calls for war, and frankly, quite a few people in Washington are doing the same thing, they're now just simply saying, we're not going to recruit people because they're the wrong skin color. This is insanity, and it's going to get a lot of people killed. Well, it certainly and is. it's just pure racism. It's called yes. anti-white bigotry or reverse racism. No, it's just racism. Yeah. If you're judging someone, if you're employing people based on their skin color or not employing them based on their skin color, you're racist. That doesn't matter what... Uh, you know, fluffy-sounding uh, name you give to your program, th th they are, and we've got to actually tackle, because we've got them right here in Australia, these programs in public institutions and increasingly in private ones. I don't think this is just something in the UK and the US and we can sit here and laugh at them. It's happening here right now. Mm. Well, we'll talk to Warren Mundine shortly. Uh, we were talking there about uh, The Voice and... There's clearly misinformation being spread. Oh. Uh, so you saw that business about uh, smallpox and blankets. That's been... Even she admitted it, it was a matter of for debate. But we will see this so-called truth-telling uh, becomes uh, basically misinformation telling. Well, it's going to be like That's the 1619 the Project. Remember yeah. the 1619 no. Project in, in the US? That's still in curriculums across the country now. You know, and it's the exact same sort of truth-telling, which is not truth at all. It's about, you know, running down the, um, the, the country. And that's, that's all they're seeking to do. Uh, let's also look at uh, under Biden in the uh, the, educa uh, the education department under Biden in the US has quietly shut down Donald Trump's free speech hotline. So uh, here we have uh, the left not only putting misinformation out there, they try and shut down anyone who disagrees with them. So free speech hotline being shut down. Uh, Arizona parental choice. Let's talk about that, James. Oh, yeah, well, so schools choice in Arizona, basically, they said that uh, parents will have the ability to send their kids where they want to with vouchers. Uh, and they've opened this program up to all children in the state. Guess what? The program was so widely desired that the system to register for it and get your kids into this program melted down. 